And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have, and that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. Oleksandr Usyk is an outstanding champion, known not only for his achievements in boxing, but also for his impeccable behavior both inside and outside the ring. Usyk is an example of a boxer who always maintains a dignified attitude towards his opponents and treats trash talk or insults against an opponent as inappropriate and unacceptable. Despite the nobility and champion position, even in relation to such an outstanding boxer, there are people who try to offend him or piss him off with their impudent antics and harsh words. Usyk does not tolerate arrogance and firmly puts such audacious individuals in their place. Today, in this topic, we will discuss and explore what happens when you anger Oleksandr Usyk. In fourth place is the fight between Oleksandr Usyk and Argentinian Caesar David Krenz. This fight took place back in 2014. At that time, Usyk was still a relative newcomer to the professional arena and it was only fourth fight. While his opponent was more experienced, he even defeated champions. Leading a relatively modest behavior leading up to the fight, Caesar unexpectedly adopted a very bold tactic during the bout, constantly taunting and provoking our hero. But Usyk did not succumb to the provocation and cold-bloodedly defeated the Argentinian. In the third round, Usyk landed a precise left punch that broke through Caesar's defense, sending him to the canvas. However, Usyk consciously chose not to finish him off. Presumably, he wanted to enjoy the moment even more, though that's just speculation. In the fourth round, with a precise and powerful blow to the body, Usyk finally knocked down his subdued opponent to the canvas. Afterward, the Argentinian experienced genuine agony and was unable to rise. As a result, it was Usyk's fifth victory and the audacious opponent was duly punished. The third place goes to Usyk's fight against South African boxer Daniel Brewer. At stake was Usyk's first professional title in his career, the WBO Intercontinental. The fight unfolded according to the same script as the previous bout. The opponent displayed open bravado, smiled after taking punches, and at times even exhibited overly audacious behavior. The outcome of such behavior against Usyk, as we already know, was one and it occurred in the ninth round when Daniel became overly confident, once again openly engaging with the Ukrainian. Usyk, who remained composed, seized the opportunity.
With a powerful strike of the same left hand, he sent him to the floor. Daniel failed to rise before the referee's count and Usyk secured a decisive victory, once again proving that it is unwise to show such audacity against him. The second place goes to the audacious British boxer Tony Bellew, who was punished for his arrogance. Unlike Usyk's previous fights, this bout has at least some backstory. By the time the fight took place, Alexander had already become the undisputed champion in the cruiserweight division, having won the Muhammad Ali Trophy. The boxer who has taken every title imaginable. It's no wonder that Tony Bellew became interested in Usyk and started challenging him to a fight. Usyk, of course, accepted the challenge. Prior to the fight, Tony, in his typical style, made audacious remarks about the Ukrainian, promising a knockout. And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have, and that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. But all of this was in a friendly manner, and if you look at Tony's previous fights and antics, you can understand that he held great respect for Oleksandr. However, the main criticism from Tony and many boxing critics was the statement that Usyk lacked a powerful knockout punch. Moreover, it sounded almost everywhere and Usyk was seriously determined to prove the opposite. On November 10, 2018, the fight took place. It is worth recognizing that in the initial rounds Tony showed decent resistance and even won on cards from some judges. But later Alexander became more active and began to take his own. And in the end, in the eighth round, after several clean hits at once, Usyk of the shocked Britain sent a brutal knockout with a left punch. Once and for all, closing his mouth with a critic and making it clear that the unstressed mustache is just a myth. The first place, of course, is the fight between Oleksandr Usyk and the scandalous German boxer Marco Huck. A duel that perfectly showed that showing off against Usyk is a bad thing. He will make you answer for your words. Let's go in order. The fight was outlined at a unique tournament of the World Boxing Super Series, the winner of which received all the belts in the division, a large amount of money, and also became the owner of the Muhammad Ali Cup. And all the top boxers, of course, rushed to this tournament. So did Usyk, who by that time was already a WBO champion. The very first rival Usyk immediately chose Marco Huck. Marco, then already a former world champion, did not have the best reputation for his antics in the ring and beyond. Often, before the fight, he arranged all sorts of provocations, and in the ring he often used very dirty tricks. Usyk, as you understand, for Huck was no exception. Bitcha. And the moment when, during the duel of views, Huck pushed the Ukrainian and called him names crossed every line. <laughs> like this. Here is what Oleksandr himself said about this moment. When he just pushed me and turned the air blue. 
It was unseen, but when I came out I smiled at him hold myself, and when I went back I told him, hey, Marco, he turned back, tomorrow, and left. And during the duel, Usyk really did what he showed with a gesture. Almost cleanly interrupting the German, destroying round after round, sometimes even boldly flaunting. There were, of course, a couple of dirty moments performed by Marco Huck, but Usyk was ready for them and did his job in cold blood. As a result, in the 10th round the fight had already turned into an open beating and after a long attack the referee intervened and stopped the fight. After the fight, Oleksandr admitted that he had specially tortured Huck. After Usyk will continue to win and become the winner of this tournament and the absolute world champion in the first heavyweight, and after the world heavyweight champion, but that's a completely different story. In the same issue, I showed you the daredevils whom Usyk put in their place and showed you what happens when you anger Oleksandr Usyk. Now it's Tyson Fury's turn, if of course their fight ever takes place.